when we put files inside an Evernote node, that's it. We don't have to worry where those files are. They are there. They are inside the node. However, when you import your nodes from Evernote to Obsidian, you end up with something like this, a files folder with the files. So this is a PNG file. This is the, the, the logo. And the node will be a combination of notes you took and this file here. So this image is in reality in this other folder here. Maybe this structure is something that I constantly think about because I never had to think about that in the past. And to be honest, it feels weird. It doesn't feel intuitive to, to have things like this, but I don't see it being, uh, I don't see how it could be done in a different way because this is how technically, uh, technically speaking, Obsidian works. So there's no way around this. But the other day I was here thinking, and maybe we don't need to have nodes for everything. Maybe I'm trying to create nodes for everything because I'm coming from a different mindset from the Evernote mindset. Here, let me show you what I mean. Let's go to the manuals folder and inside it, we have the notes and also this resources folder with the files. But why do I need this note if all the information is already in this JPEG? So what I'm doing in cases like this is renaming this moving this file here and deleting this note. There's no need for this note. <laughs> All I need is the information. And sometimes I already have the PDF like here. So all I have to do is move this here. Then I can delete this. And this is not only true to manuals. There are many situations where this will apply. For example, if I'm reading a paper and that paper is in PDF format, why would I need a note? Only if I'm taking notes, right? Then I would create a note and maybe drag that PDF inside that note and take my notes and have everything together, the PDF and the note. But if I'm only reading it, why would I create a note. <laughs> this is it for this one. I just wanted to share this click moment with you. Maybe you're going through the same thing there and this information will be helpful. If it was helpful, I'd appreciate it. Thumbs up. And if you like what I do here on the channel and want to help even more, please consider joining my Patreon or becoming a YouTube member. You'll find the links below. Thanks for watching. See you soon.